A neighbor friend of mine has a cabin about an hour and a half from where we live. He's asked me to build a couple pieces for his cabin. This is the first one, just a simple shelf for some plates and things that they have. I made that a few months ago, just some simple poplar. What they want now is a blanket chest to go in between this wall and this bed. They didn't want anything fancy and they were planning to paint it, so they asked that I use just the cheap pine plywood from Home Depot. It's not great, but I think it worked out okay for this project. Here I've got two sheets, two 4x8 sheets of 3 quarter, and I clamped them together so I could batch out the cuts. This first cut will end up being the front and back of the chest. And from that second cut, I'll end up making the lid and the floor of the blanket chest. Once I had all of the sides of the main box cut, I used my track saw to cut 45 degree miters on the sides that would make up the corners of the box. I also used a long French curve to draw some gentle curves on the underside of the fronts and the sides and cut that out with my jigsaw. I used the domino on the mitered corners. That was my plan for the joinery here. They also wanted some removable dividers. So for that, I chucked up a 3 quarter inch straight bit in my router, and using the track from my track saw, I went ahead and cut two dados in each, in each long board. Now since plywood is generally a little bit smaller than the listed size, using a 3 quarter inch bit on 3 quarter inch ply actually does give you a little bit of play, and since these dividers need to be removable, that actually works in my favor this time. I cut a few thin strips of plywood to glue along the bottom. These are meant to hold up the floor of the blanket chest. And I glued and screwed those in place. It's really hot this time of year here where I live, so I had to work really quickly to get all of the glue and, and the dominoes all set up. I actually pre-glued the dominoes into the longer boards so that I wouldn't have to worry about that part when I did the main glue up. Pounded everything into place. Got it all clamped up. I wanted a piano hinge, but since I've got removable dividers, I had to modify the hinge so that there would be room for the dividers to move in and out. I just used a metal cutting blade with my jigsaw to do that. It actually turned out pretty good. Just be careful and work slowly. Once the hinge was ready, I pre-drilled all the screw holes and then added in all the screws. With a five foot long piano hinge, there are a lot of them. For the dividers, I just took some of the offcuts of the plywood, cut them to be half an inch wider than the inside dimension of the box. That was because the dados that I cut were a quarter inch deep.
Once those were cut to size, I marked the center and drew an outline for kind of a, a hole that I would cut to be a, a, a handle to be able to pull these out. Then I use a Forstner bit to cut the ends of this handle hole thing. Repeated that same process on the other divider. And then join those two holes with my jigsaw. Had to sand it a little bit, and then I used a router with a roundover bit to kind of ease the edges. Sanded some more. And from here it was basically done. Now one shot that I missed was adding the lid and the trim around the lid because it was too dark outside when I filmed that, so the video turned out terrible. If you want to see more of the things that I do in my shop, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks, we'll see you next time.